Hello and welcome to this training session on data stage. So in this session today, we are going to look at one more processing stage of data stage, which is known as a funnel stage. Now this is a pretty simple and straightforward stage. So let's first of all, open a blank parallel job designer window. So we go to the parallel job and now we have all these options. Now funnel stage is a processing stage. So let's go to the processing category and pull out the funnel stage. Here is the funnel stage. Let's drag and drop it to our job window. Now funnel stage requires multiple inputs. So let's have a file. Let's have a sequential file. And let's use a copy stage, which is again a processing stage to split this output from this file into multiple links. So here we have the copy stage. We'll simply be splitting it into multiple links. We can even have the transformer. Now this is just an example of how the funnel stage works. You would not be need to you would not need to do it this way to use the funnel stage. So let me first define the parameters for my input source file so country dot text let me go and define uh, my format delimiter as tab quote as none and the columns the column is country id sql type is integer length does not matter the locality is yes we have the other column called country name. The SQL type is Velcar. The length is 15. The liability is yes. So now I've defined my sequential file stage. I'll just copy the output to different lines. This is my first output link. This is my second output link. Let me just copy this here. Say OK. So now I have the same data split across two output links. Now I can use a funnel stage to combine this data together again. So the funnel stage, it can have more than one input length. But to be able to funnel the data, the requirement is that all the source input links should have the same metadata. That is a requirement. You can take out an output link of a funnel stage. You can take out, you can, it doesn't support a reject link. So only one output link is possible out of the funnel stage. And it can have any number of input links. So if you had one more uh, input link coming in, it would have taken that input link as well. But the condition is that all the input links should have similar metadata. Only then it will be able to take combine the data of these uh, data coming from these different source links. So how does the funnel function? What is the function of a funnel? Funnel is like a union oper union all operator in your SQL. So it, it is simply combining the data coming for the same metadata structure through two different or more than two different input links. So let's see what are the properties of the funnel stage. Let's double click and see. So the properties tab, there's just one option that you need to define, which is the funnel type. Now there are different kinds of funnel types uh, that you can uh, define. There is the continuous funnels. So continuous funnel is simply, it does not follow any order. It simply combines the records continuously. So as it is reading the records in whatever order it reads the records, it keeps on producing the output records. So no particular order is followed. Now the other uh, options possible are the sequence. Now sequence, what does a sequence do? So sequence will copy all the input records from the first input link and then the, to the output data set and then all the records from the second input link. So this is how it will follow a sequence. So the first input link, then the second input link, then the third input link and so on. What is a sort funnel? Now sort funnel you need to define a sorting key for the sort funnel. So it will uh, funnel the records or combine the records based on some sorting key. So you can define your key which is coming from your uh, source. You can define a country ID. All these you have the same uh, additional properties. Case sensitive, what will be your nuts position, first or last. So it is absolute if you want, what is your sort order. You can define all that. And then in case you are uh, choosing sorting keys, you need to define your partitioning as well on the same ID column. So form sort, go to your output tab. 
just drag and drop all your output columns and say and they'll be available on the output columns now i have just sorted on first in i have just partitioned on one of the input links i have to partition on the other link as well if i want to go for for a funnel type of sort but mostly there won't be any requirement to follow any key order so we'll leave it as continuous let's leave it at continuous now let's try to take out one more copy output link and try to put it here and let's go to the copy stage let's go to the outputs let's go to this third link and map just one column there the country id column and now let's see how many columns are available for the funnel stage so let me go to input let me remove this partitioning because i'm using continuous funneling now so let me go to stage let me go to the output tab and now you can see that i have just one column that is available from my input to be mapped to the output because the metadata has to be same across all the input links now there is just one column which matches across all the input links so only that can be funneled the other column cannot be funneled right so you have to make sure that all your columns are available across all the output links and then only the data will get funneled so let's go out let's remove this output link let's say delete let's say yes and let's add a data set stage to this output link let's go here right and let's again go here let's me remove the partitioning because i didn't save the changes last time that's why there's no partitioning output columns are all mapped i have to give a name to this data set so let me just go and give a name to this data set test oh no i have to give the path first right temp test underscore ds underscore funnel dot yes okay let me compile this job say yes so i need to save my job first so let me give it a name ds underscore test underscore funnel save and let me compile the job and run the job so we have we have split the records first using the copy stage so if I have four records coming in from the output, then they have been split into two stream output streams. So eight records, eight records being funneled by the funnel stage. So let's run this job and see how many records we are going to get in the output. So run it, run it. Let's close the compilation window. And we can see that the job is executing the lengths have turned blue and now it is here so there were four records coming from my input link on each of the output link from the copy stage i copied those four records to each of the output link so i have four records on this link and i have four records on this link and they have been funneled for a total of eight records in my output data set so this is how you can use a funnel so in many practical scenarios you'll be performing some kind of operation on one link some kind of operation on another link or probably your data is coming from more than two uh, two sources so they say you need to then format it into a standard common format and then you can funnel all that data together so this is the practical use of the funnel stage this is how you will use the funnel stage so this is the end of this session. Thank you for watching.